It's kind of one of those weird things that superhumans, well, they're a mainstay in society. They're still trying to bang out the legal things. Like, this is a very close to platinum age kind of comic that where this game is set in because while superhumans are still kind of new, they've been around for quite a while now and there is like a legacy of heroes and villains. Like, there is a gallery of like that I haven't developed yet because I haven't had the need to. It's called Pimpinel. It's called Pimpinel Black Rose. There is oh, yeah, are staples. Oh yeah, are I supposed to be getting my costume this this round? From that, you're, someone. We're getting to that. So effectively, you know, the circus ends. Thank you for coming. You know, you are actually approached by Ma by Maximo Maximo Air, and he's kind of like, "Thank you so much, gentlemen, for you know." Be, be, being patrons that coming to the circus today, we are honored that the great heroes of this great city were were in attendance. You know, one of those. It's a pleasure to meet you. You know, one of those like pleasantries kind of things. Um, well, it was quite nice. You guys have some pretty boss acts. <laughs> God damn it! I just died in Minecraft. Fuck me. Thank you for Sorry. revealing that you were playing Minecraft there, Omar. Um, anyway, so, you know, you go back to the tower, and about, by this point, Sentry has gone home. Back to, like, wherever the hell Sentry's home is. No one knows where... Everyone knows where Sentry... Everyone knows where the Citadel is. It's just kind of, like, on that border. It's kind of, like, in New Jersey somewhere. I think the only person who knows about it now is um, Shining Armor. Yeah. Because you kind of like it, teleport to the phone it, it, flying out of the... It's somewhere in the middle of place. like rural upstate New York or New Jersey. No one really knows. It's kind of... He might have like... Mo actually, theoretically, he probably has multiple tow multiple citadels all over America because and, some, and over the world because he's just that damn rich. Yep. One of them is in Hawaii, in Tahiti. Oh, of course. Yeah. And I'm not saying this, like, as he has two different citadels. He has one citadel that's, like, in the middle of both. And then he just kind of, like, has, like, a little rail court that goes between the two. Why would you need to go to Hawaii and Tahiti? When he gets really pissed off at heroes like us. Good point. And it's not, like, an actual tower in Hawaii. It's just this little beach hut. I thought it was going to be, like, under, like, the ocean. Like, this is a no-order base. No, nah, he's not a supervillain. Well, one of my previous characters is well acquainted with, uh, one of, with one of his towers in, in so abusing. Damn right. He well, he should be. Gabe was his nephew. And he, hell. he, like, abused one of his towers. Oh, yeah. I mean, hell... For Christ's sakes, probably Sentry was probably breeding you up to breeding Gabe up to be the next Sentry. And Stay at home, mom. So, um, big brother thing. Kevin, and then Gabe. <laughs> well, this is kind of snapped. He has a split person. Well, we won't get into that. That's another game for another time. When you get back to the house, on the table in the main room, there is a small, there is a box. Like a, kind of almost like one of those boxes you'd get clothing in. Maybe a little bit thicker. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. They all left me there. We probably took you with us. <laughs> like, you all were together in the circus, and then you left, where I was nowhere near any of you. I was probably <laughs> near, like, where the rare car was for this place. Oh, did we use we, know? Wait, where, where's the kid? Of course we're gonna ask that question because we're not stupid. We probably wouldn't... All, all things aside, Mike, we probably would have looked for you before leaving. Wait, wait, you, you know a better way. You probably call... Like, you know that I had a teddy bear. You know, I probably got that from Nightshade. Nightshade, where is he? Ah, oh, he's by the train. <laughs> Thank you. Go like, I'm asleep you. on the up. train, and then Greg is, like, helping them put stuff in the train. <laughs> Greg, Greg, we better not... Uh, 
I, I, I grab him, Greg, we better not leave him on the train, you know. Uh. No, the train. No, the train isn't packing up. They still got like two more days of shows. Oh, then he's probably helping with something. You know, he's like, helping. You know, clean up or something. Like he's pushing it. No, like he's holding one of those tiny push brooms and pushing it like with his fingers. <laughs> um, you know, and, and you know, we get. You get back, and then you eventually all, you all get back home, back to the tower, um, or Nightshade's house, regardless. No, they they put they break they get you a room in the tower. They put you up in one of the guest rooms, and we see the box on the table. And there is a box on the table. Nobody approaches. It could be a bomb. I take okay. If it, if that's possible, then I'll take it. You idiot! I said it could be a bomb, Jack. It would still blow. It's oh. addressed to you. Okay. It's there is a very. Try. It's a kind of in this very elaborate, wrap, colorful wrapping paper. There's the tied ribbon on it. There's a feather in the bow. I still There's say this it's very, a bomb. This flu. This very lo- nicely handwritten like. There's, there's a envelope underneath the ribbon with your name in cursive on in very very proper cursive on it. I ro- okay, I... And, and I open the box. Do you read the letter? Right before you open yes, the I box, read the le- I read the letter. A little, and it says, a little something to keep your past from discovering your future. And it's signed SP. Okay. Um, okay, I try to think of an S. I try to think of anyone I know named SP. I know exactly who it is, too. <laughs> as, as do I in real life, but I open it up anyway. Um, and it, oh, and you would have noted that it was sealed, the envelope was sealed with the um, a, fu- a, red, a, fu- a red sealing wax with a five pointed flower. So I Mike could roll really a knowledge it. nature from that. Knowledge nature? Yeah. Okay, Devin, I rolled a 13 on the die. Red five-pointed Plus... flower, Scarlet Pimpernel. Yeah, it, I, I know it's a red Pimpernel. Yeah. It's a Pimpernel. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of look at it. I so, I so, say well I don't know who this is from. <laughs> you know two of them. I know. Well, I know. You know who the this lineage, will be. but you know you know you in your time you know you've met two of them, the seventh and the eighth. Like, would this be from one of those? It's from you, you'd tell. Judging by the year, it's probably from the seventh, considering that the eighth wasn't born yet, and the sixth was being diagnosed for post-traumatic st- had been was still being diagnosed for post-traumatic stress disorder from the combination of um, the um, Gulf War, the his service in the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, and his service as a superhero in general. Um, which one was the one that was on the Titanic? Must have a, excuse me, but that guy must have a lot of years under his war belt. Hell, most up until and James would know this is because it's common knowledge. Pretty much in. Except for like the first Pimpernel, every other Pimpernel served in the military, except for the, in, up until the seventh. But that was kind of because the military wasn't needed anymore. No, it was more or less the fact of it wasn't even that. It was the fact of the pretty much I, he lo- effectively he lost his father because of the wars that they put him through. He had a from the combined combined nature of the Gulf War the. Vietnam and his heroine career, he had a severe case of post-traumatic stress disorder that he checked in when he was an infant. When the pimp, when okay, so do I open? In, I open up the case. It's a, it's a costume. Um, it's kind of got almost like a helmet. Almost um, the visor is a a kind of matte finish, um, silver color. Um, it's got a helmet. You know how the jack hat is that kind of um, poked up hat? It's like a thin at the bottom, but big at the, but kind of wider at the top. Wait, what hat? 
um, from like a, a play, jack playing card. I it's, like a deck of cards. it's like a crown. I can't almost. remember. I can't remember what that is, but I'll I'll just look up jack it's playing a, card. And it's kind of like how the jack cards have the hair. It kind of it kind of the hair. What would be that quote unquote hair comes down to make this gorgeous looking helmet for you. The whole suit is like when you put it on. The whole damn thing literally fits you like a glove. Like this suit was this costume was tailor made to your exact body type. Which is kind of creepy if you think about it, because nobody's ever messaged you. No, no. <laughs> Between Sentry and Scarlet Pimpernel's mother. No, no. Oh, Sentry. Wife. Sentry. <laughs> Sentry's like, yeah, I had a box. Does it fit? So you get a message on the on like the computer. Does it fit? Uh, I said him yes. Oh, good. Okay, good. So my scanner is working. Hey, James, you can roll a. Uh, actually, James, do you have like knowledge pop pop culture or stuff like that? Let me let me look. I don't know. Well, for this. Well, for this time period, it would be knowledge history for him, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, it would be history, actually, because it also retains the things in his own timeline. So just a straight intelligence check might work. So, okay, intelligence check, then. Effectively, James, what the costume looks like is a very sleek jack playing card with a blank faceplate. But it's, it's built in a way that literally... Because effectively, despite your face being covered you still effectively get all the benefits from attractive and all those things because literally what? this thing fits you and it everything looks good. I thought the attractive and whatnot is from the hormones. Well, not the hormones, uh, pheromones yeah. that he gave. Well, still, but like I think he has the attractive feet. Like, literally, this is designed to make you look good. Okay. Yay. Uh, thank you, it was on the building. That was on the what? So it has a blank faceplate. It's effectively, it's got a helmet. It's like kind of like a, almost like an Iron Man vice. Think the Iron Man uh, fa kind of face, except without the eyes or mouth. It's just okay. a blank thing on the helmet, on a very ornate helmet. The oh, you can see through the fabric. But you can see through it. It's like a one-way mirror. Okay. Well, that Interesting. Works. So now he's going to go get goggles or something and just completely mess it up. No, I'm not. James, you can either roll knowledge history, knowledge pop culture, okay. anything like that. I'm going to roll knowledge um, history since I don't think, think I have knowledge pop culture. Do I? You, it's like, knowledge pop culture, you know, roll that one. It's like, I look like Michael Jackson. Okay, I don't think no. I have knowledge pop culture. You don't. So, yeah, knowledge history. I roll a 16. Hey, James. There what? was a superhero in this time period known as Jack. That's <laughs> all they knew him as. AKA, literally, it's yourself. Literally, that's the only name. Like, literally, when he just popped out of nowhere one day. He said his name was Jack. They thought it was his superhero name, because he never gave a last name. So, literally, one day, he got they gave him a costume and was like, Here, he didn't give us much to work on, so we went with futuristic Jack playing card. Have fun. <laughs> and you've met him before. Or at least you've seen him. But you've never really talked to him. He's always been fairly distant to you. Uh, and now you know why. I start I chuckling a I start chuckling a little bit. <laughs> now you understand why so your past doesn't find your future. Huh. It's like clever. Oh, you laughed just like Dr. Nightshade. No, no, Dr. Nightshade laughs like a nutcase. Well, he, he did that, you know, mad chuckle thing. No one, like he was about to go to the supervillain case. No oh one, shit, he's going rogue! No, I go, no wonder he, or I should say I, was never really fond of being around me. Why? Oh, it's nothing you guys need to worry about. For another 30 years. For another 30 years. What are you use? Okay, Blink. it's um... <laughs> Oh, come on, Mike. Your character can't be that stupid. No, because when you're that old, it's like counting how many years it is when you're 80 okay, years old. Um, it doesn't really matter because, you know, 
Okay, th uh, I could well, really think of 365 sun. You know how the sun goes around the earth. Oh, so 30 of that. That's not that long. <laughs> to a human, it is. To, to, to most people, it is. Oh. oh. Yes, um, effectively at that point, uh, you know. If any, if no one has anything to do, I I steal the I wrapping got, paper. Yeah, it's very pretty wrapping paper. It's like that old Victoria. You know, like how in books, like those old books, that kind of oil painted kind of like swirled paper look. Yep, I'm stealing it. It, it, it looks like that. I go. You um, I gotta call my that. brother and my mother before I go to bed. I told little. I told little. Who do you call guys. first? Um, and does your mother and do your parents know you're a superhero? Not yet. Not until after this phone call. So I call my mom first. And, and then after that, you will receive a call from Dr. Blaine. Ah, uh, great. Here we so, go again. Anyway, so let's start with the uh, your mother. Well, your whole issues once you let up to Dr. Blaine come from? <laughs> So, um, hello? Who is this talking? It, it's, you, you, who did you call first? Oh, right. I'm talking, um, hello, Mom? Um, hello? Hi, oh, um, hell, crap, I'm Dave! Um, Take a drink. Uh, how have you been? Oh, I've been great. So, how's the whole drinking thing going for you? Re really, Omar? Really? No, she he likes no, she likes to drink fancy wine from time to time. It's oh, your father took me to this this little um wine got vineyard. At, my oh, the way you would say it, it sounded like you were calling your mother an alcoholic. No, she just likes fancy wine to unwind. Oh, um, oh, your father took me this weekend to this um vineyard. It's lovely. I just realized how weird this is to hear this. Knowing yeah. what he told me about his backstory. Yeah, I know. Because like, yeah. once you'd be like, um, "Where are you at? I haven't seen you in years," or um, something like that. Well, no, oh, we, you no, know, it's more like this. We always meet up for the occasional family meetup day just to stay connected. Even though me and my brother, even though whenever everybody's together, me and my brother usually get mad at each other and whatnot. But in the end, it's more like, a, "Hey, we're together, so let's just be glad that we can see each other for another year." But um, so I, so I'm like, yeah, that's great, mom. Um, hey, mom, are you sitting down? I have a feeling I should be. Well, you better sit down. Okay. Well, I don't feel like this is like you just coming out like, mother, I'm gay. Honey, are, no, actually, she does say that. Honey, are you gay? No. That'll be a, that might be another story for another time. But anyways, what mom, I'm a <laughs> mom, I'm a superhero. I figured. How? You didn't really hide your identity when you stopped that whole Baron Blizzard thing? You know, I guess where Because Omar, speak. out of game, let's face it, you didn't go to the damn... I don't. I know for a fact you don't have quick change. And I know for certain that you didn't go to the um, museum expo expedition in um, your costume. Considering you were there for a school project, so yeah, your mom kind of figured you were a superhero. One plus one equals doofus. <laughs> Whatever, but I just so I just anyways, but now I have a costume. Makes it a lot easier. But anyways, did you so, actually wait? Do you actually? What's your costume? My costume is essentially a hoodie with a very long hood and a gear on the front of it, and it's all red. Well, it's dark red, but the gear is um light red. And nothing hiding your face. Yeah. Except the hoodie. No, no, he's got the sunglasses. Oh, yeah. I have, like, iPods. Okay, you have a decent co enough costume. To pin You're not going to receive a gift from the Pimperhill anytime soon. No, no, you're just going to agitate as you're standing next to him because you look gaudy as can be. Oh, yes. I mean, hell, even Shield's, like, more of a classic comic book hero look. Well, it's just because the Scarlet Pimpernel is like the theater type. 
that thing you guys, you guys go ahead. I'm gonna do something for my parents real quick. I'll be right back. All right. So Omar has this conversation with his parent, with his family. Um, what's this the rest is... of you doing at this point, Nick? What are you doing, Nick? Hmm, what am I doing? Taking a nap, howling at the moon. It's almost midnight. You could always. You could, it's not midnight yet, but you can see. Hold on, hold on, a cat howling at the moon. You could always jump off the top of the tower and. I'll go to the nearest uh, bar. Wait, wait. How? How? Oh, what kind of like town is? This is a city, so like bars are open like all night. Yeah. <coughs> you right, don't sorry, have I'm a talking. license. What? You don't have a license, any license or paperwork saying you're 21. Technically speaking, you're probably about seven years old. You're like seven, dude. <laughs> you look 21. You're about the age of seven. Hmm. That doesn't stop you from going. Yeah. How's about, wait, 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 do I eat, like, dang, can't we just get up a bag of catnip or something? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why get him a bag of catnip? <laughs> like, he doesn't James need to go. James is rolling it up like pot and smoking it. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a cat, it's legal. Because let's face it, catnip is like weed for cats. Exactly. And it's not the smoking or eating it, it's the rubbing against it and smelling it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> <laughs> Nick? Nick, how is that even gonna work? Why do I feel like Jack would know how to make a fake ID? Because he has psychic paper? Oh yeah, the psychic paper. So James, what are you doing when all this is happening? I don't know. I'm probably just sitting down playing a video game. <laughs> Oh god, your character really is a nerd, isn't he? <laughs> no, he's probably complaining about the two, like the bad graphics and whatnot no, of no, his no. PS3 or something. No, 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 I'm just making a reference to the campaign we had two nights ago. Oh yeah, your character just playing video games. Yeah. Wait, wait no, but James, you? this is retro gaming for you. You're like, this is freaking sweet. I mean, you know. I do retro game in real life, so yay retro game. He's games. playing all Sonic games too. No, no, I'm playing like Call of Duty. Wow, this is so retro. Call of Duty two, my god. <laughs> like, Call of Duty. <coughs> this old. My no, mother like, wasn't even born yet when this was. Actually, okay. no. His mother probably was. No, he was. His mother is around at this time. No, so. no, 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 no. It's a you know. Oh, gag, it's older than his mother. Not by much. If even. Because how and, old is your character? was your character before the um, accident? Hold on, hold on. Okay, my character was around. Um, okay, he was 21 before the accident. Well, no, he was like 23 before the accident. I'm going to say. Yes, and so now, your mother was and now your, he's... Oh, God, and now James, your mother's probably in her teenage years right now. And now, oh gosh, now. Because if she had you seven year, if she had you seven years from now, in like 2019, or 2000, oh, or, or um, and and now um, my character is around like 40 some. <sighs> oh god. Sorry. Time so James, where matter. did your um, parents meet, or where did your parents grow up? I don't know. I didn't know I was supposed to dig that far into my backstory. No, because I could just see it, you running into your mother and then having this awkward relationship with her. When she thinks <laughs> oh, no, you're pulling it back to the future. I know. Come on. This story, this is asking for it. When you don't do things, it's kind of asking for it. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> no, um, George, they grew up in Battery City. That's probably why you have such a close connection to the um, Battery City superhero team and whatnot, because, well... You, you, you grew up here. You'll I'll be back again. Anyway, so do I know that the cat needs help getting to a bar? 
I don't know. Has he asked you? Would I have my own ID in this time or not? You have psychic paper. You would have an ID. No, you'd have an ID. It's just everyone thinks it's fake because it's from. It says you turned twenty-one, and you know, like two, two thousand, you know, forty something. You know. So, right. you know. I, now this is a question, Devin. Do superheroes drink free in this state? You know. If you're on a known team, probably. But, truth be told, he looks like a villain. From what you described of me, I, I'm thinking like a couple of villains that look exactly the same way. Yes, it's kind of the Royal Flush Gang inspired. But literally, what the hell? There's not many Jacks. It was either Dan, you've either got the playing card, you've got Up Hearts, Daniels, or Sparrow. <coughs> Pirates. A whiskey Pirates. maker, Pirates, or a like, playing card. So what? Uh, you want me to be like the um, beer themed superhero or something? No. Is that what you want? Is that the message you want to go out the kids, Mike? Well, I'm sure your other character from the game two nights ago does. All right, laddie, let's go out to the bar. <laughs> oh god! I love how by the end of that, I was just reading. Oh. So, you're you're trying to, oh God, what's even worse, James? You're flirting with the cat guy. What? How am I flirting with the cat? No, no, I'm just saying like what you could do to like get to the point where you're trying to get him drunk. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh God. Let's not get into this. Yes. Anyway, meanwhile in the back cave. Or, well, actually, S.H.I.E.L.D. is at the police station, you know. Being S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s okay, doing his S.H.I.E.L.D. business. Omar, are you back, finally? Hey, Devin, I'll be right back. Be right, right back, guys. Be right back. Well, okay. okay. So, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s at the police station. Doing paperwork. You know. Do whatever it is that S.H.I.E.L.D.'s do. They get polished. He's cleaning up his gear, you know. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yes, does the... What does your cat do? Because all I'm doing is sitting here playing, like, PS2 or something. Nick. Nick, Yes? No. Ah, uh, what do you want me to do? Whatever you, what does your character do? I a bar. <laughs> My go character. Go to a bar. You know they let you in because you look twenty-one. You go and order a drink. Wait, yeah, you're a she... superhero and you look twenty-one, right? Wait, wait, you do the cat thing and it's like. Technically speaking, my human form would be twenty-one, but my cat form is seven. Like, you, 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 like, just switch well, I, have the, I have the ability to support alcohol at the age of a 21-year-old. Okay, so... You do the cat thing. They know you're a hero. Or a really cheesy-looking villain. Oh, actually, no, I, I'm sorry. They either think you're a pimp because all you're wearing is furs. Seriously, he looks like a rip-off Tarzan. Yeah. They let you in, and it's like, you know, they, you go to the bar, you look 21. <laughs> yes. well, that's good enough. Effectively, because they know your origin, you're technically 21 in your in your native animal years. Yeah. There's a bar fight, you, you break it up. No, no, he probably antagonized it. <laughs> you Cats get into a bar fight. Cats are mean, son of a bitches. You like rape him and his family. Um, <laughs> you know, you have a good time at the bar. James is playing classic video games, which literally came out the day before. J James is going doing a retro RPG. He's playing Skyrim. I mean, my God, that game is old. 
like, wait, is any like, is anyone watching me play these games? Or am I just sitting there alone? Yeah, alone. Okay. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Wait, wait. Gregory probably is somewhat watching through a window. Shield probably shows up after work after his shifts over. He probably, hey, Devin. You probably put does um. You probably do Nazi zombies with him. All right. Hey, Devin. Well, See how you're probably the only one who probably walks in after a good time, uh, you know, a good while in time. How, how where would my room be located? What are, um what are, what floor would your you know it, it's on one of the floors. It's got a it's got a view of the garden. No 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 no. It's it's high enough to see Gregory's face when Gregory stands up. Yes. That's how many floors up. So it's probably the second or third floor. Mm-hmm. Okay, Devin, when you get home and because it's you coming back. You kind of see, like, vines and whatnot just sprouting from that floor. <sighs> oh, well. Shrubbery <laughs> and whatnot. Bring me a shrubbery. <laughs> you know, no, you know like after work, it's like S.H.I.E.L.D. after a while goes, you want to watch the movie? <laughs> I, wait, is he uh, talking to my character? Yeah, he's like, anybody want to watch a movie? I can Oh, and, you know, he picks you up, brings you to the couch, sits you down. He puts in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> but at this point, it is also still old. Yeah, this uh, is it's like... It's old at this point. I'm, this no, time's no. old. So it's even older for it's a no, no. It's not old. It's a classic. Eventually, Nick. By the time you come back, they're at you're, they're doing a um, movie night. So you you know you sit down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does the cat come back drunk? Do you come back drunk, Nick? Do I? <laughs> Kitty gets sick on the floor. <laughs> I go for this. What? No, no. This is just for comedic effect. You puke in your litter box. <laughs> well, I don't come back that drunk. I I come back and go like, guys, why are you all? I'll uh, forget it, and I stumble away. Um, I, I know if I care for that. Uh. Hey, copycat! We're watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You want to join us? After I get myself. Some milk. You go to the kitchen and you get yourself some milk. Oh, I, I can prove these for you. And he, he, he kind of put, brings up a little pot. Well, it's probably like a tin can that I had Gregory rip the top off. Mm -hmm. With like, you know, got catnip growing out of it. James, you've got a, co a coffee tin full of catnip. No, what? I thought Nick got that. Yeah, Nick. You, got you said James. I said Nick. No, no you, you said, said James. James. I, said. I said Nick. No, you said James. You got to You need to play this back so you can yeah. hear it. Yes, you need to play this back so you can hear it. Whatever, I'll listen to it later. Anyway, so Nick now has a thing of co a, a coffee tin with a plant of catnip. My God, Mike, what have you done? Oh, future uh, Devin, see that we're right. I'm certain that my future self will inform us, like, five for, like, God only knows how long from now that you are, in fact, correct. Yay. Wait, what? Anyway. Um, so, superheroing. Um, right. So, you know, you watch Monty Python, The Holy Grail. Everyone's quoting it, except for, like, Mike's character. So, like, effectively, Shield... He's, he's probably confused with how the people are in the TV. He's like poking the James, box. you're not that da Mike, you're not that damn oblivious, are you? He has no idea about like technology. Dude, or anything. he's been in the forest all of his life. Like, let me put it this way. His birth certificate when they first had paper and you know, first made paper and whatnot, it was one of the few things that was printed. Just straight off the bat. No, like, like when they actually made it legal like they had a requirement. He had one. The original one. Guess where that is? Where? In hell. <laughs> In this, uh, Liz's house. She's got, like, she's got that nice house in hell with the white picket fence. Yeah. Yeah. She's rather nice when you don't piss her off. 
Sad part is she's really easy to piss off. Oh, that re that reminds that reminds me of a of a reference to something. And you know, of course, Mike at the part where you must cut down the mightiest tree in the wood with a herring. And everyone's like, a herring! And you're just like... Gregory! Gregory! No, Gregory's, not the... <laughs> Gregory's freaking out. No, 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 no. I, I, I go, Gregory, point five. No! <laughs> and you're like, wait, point five? Point five? Yeah, hey, and, and Mike, you know a lot of those plants. You help grow them. <laughs> and they're in the, like, you know, the little shrubbery. And all that stuff. You're like, you know all that. You've seen those plants. You, you helped with them. It's like, Gregory... Wait, I shouldn't say point five. Um, Gregory, you're number 47. No! And, and you know... Um, and like, he was chopped down by her. And then, of course, it's like... And then, of course, that plot thread goes nowhere. Cause, cause, and they never cut down the tree with a herring. Yay! <laughs> You know, the month, the Black Knight, all, all that stuff. You know, you watch a movie. I'm definitely confused. I like the Black Knight because I don't know humans could just, like, take off the limbs or whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invincible! You're a bloody loony. Clearly no one else in this movie can remove their limbs like that. Maybe this guy has anatomic separation. No, maybe huh. this guy is like me and they'll grow back later. Who knows? No, James, you know for a fact that was you. Yes, I played that guy in the movie. You played the Black Knight. Of... Yes. Uh, Hell, like... you were even the Black Knight back in. With... You were even the original Black Knight. Wow, what? yeah, I've been that role. I, I... Okay, I'll be right back, guys. And the little guy. Everybody. The little guy falls asleep on the floor watching the movie. Meanwhile, for the comic book reader, um, the museum that, you know, everything bad, that, the museum of everything in existence is in this museum, seriously. The, A.K.A. the Battery City Museum of Art, Science, History, etc., etc., et and so forth. And gift shop with and um, all-purpose furniture store. No, I'm only kidding. Up the all-purpose furniture store. Um, it's um, it's dark. You know, you see the guard. The viewer sees the guards. Um, <laughs> and, Dang, is this where that magician you started out comes in? Well, um, and at this point, you know, everybody, and you know, it's dark. The guards are going back and forth. You see, um... Hey, Devin, we gain more power points at the end of this adventure. Probably. You gain power points at the end of every adventure, probably, most more than likely. Yay. Um, and at that, and at some point, you know, it goes, um... And you see, like, something coming down from the ceiling. 